They call Yoko. This is a mirror. Oh my God, I was so scared. Watch what happens as I spend two days with Wim Hof, the Iceman. I'm on my way to Wim Hof, the Iceman. I'm gonna do, do a two day training with him, um, with him. And I'm so excited. 40 days ago, I started his breathing technique and it's already helped me tremendously. About 20 days ago, I started taking only cold showers. And like I said, so far it's been amazing, but I'm really curious as to what this method is gonna bring me, what these two days are gonna bring me. So let's go. What I never told you guys is that I actually suffer from Raynaud's disease. The veins in my fingers, they sort of shrunk. So my hands have a terrible time of staying warm. And so when I went into that cold ice bath for the first time, I didn't realize I was going to be scared, but oh my God, I was so scared. They call Yoko, this is a mirror. On control, here it is. So take it off. Stay in your will. Who is in control? Good man. Great. Obviously, before we went in, we did exercises, but afterwards as well. Wow, I just sat in ice water for three minutes. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Wim Hof truly is a crazy fun guy, which made the entire weekend feel like a big party. And yes, I jumped that as well, but not like he did. I was so scared. And when I got out of, the, I stayed in the full three minutes. And when I got out of the water, um, I was shivering, but more from scaredness than from anything else. And then afterwards, they took me for, for a private uh, session with just my hands. And they made me focus my hands on a, on a certain, in a certain way. Drink. You had Reno syndrome, no? Yes. Uh, it was two hours ago. <laughs> now, in pink. I've never, in icy water. I've actually never seen my hands like this, even after I picked something from the freezer and it looks wow. worse than this. So. And now you feel warm in the it's, end. They're warm. They're warm yeah. now. She did two minutes yeah, in the warm. icy the water. Minute, the first minute, I hated it. I was like screaming. It, was, it hurt so much. But then it's true that I was still, I was doing the breathing. Yeah. Um, but then it sort of calmed down and then I didn't feel anything yeah. anymore. And now they feel really warm and it doesn't hurt. So I'm used to it hurting, no. but it doesn't hurt. And so when I went in the afternoon for my second full ice bath, and that was up to, that was five minutes even, the, the, the biggest achievement for me was that I was no longer scared and I realized how, because I don't see myself as a, as a, you know, as a scared person, as a frightful person, but I just realized how many things I avoid um, because I get too cold and the cold just hurts so much, so I don't do it anymore. I realized how that fear actually had a hold on me and the fear was dictating what I was doing. But so the second time I went in, the fear was gone. And that is actually an even bigger achievement for me than sitting for five minutes in an ice bath but just not having that fear that was super great so this is the end of the first day i had uh, a blast really nice people anyway and wim is like really inspiring guy <laughs> In the morning, I felt eager to take on the 10 minute freezing cold ice bath. I decided to sure up my conviction by programming my mind with these affirmations. I am safe in the cold. I love the cold. I am capable of maintaining my body temperature. I've made an audio with these affirmations that you can download for free from my website, aidit.com.
oh my god I, I was almost gonna say i can't believe it but the thing is i believed it and that's why i did it i believed that i could and i set my mind to it i set my intention and i did i spent 10 minutes submerged well not my head but submerged in ice and I set it out the full 10 minutes. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna say, oh, I maintained my body temperature and I wasn't cold. It was cold and the first minute it hurt, but I went through that pain. And, and what I noticed that at one point, I don't know how long it took, but at one point I started shivering from the cold. And I noticed that when I focused my intention on the shivering, it got worse. And then when I went back with my focus to my, my stomach, to my gut and visualizing the heat coming from there and pushing it all the way through my body, to my extremities, to my fingers and to my toes um, and, and keeping my focus on that, then the shivering would subside. Um, and at one point, and I had my eyes closed all the time. And at one point I opened my eyes also because I wanted to see the other people in the tub and feel a bit of the camaraderie because it was so great to do this together. But I opened my eyes and I saw all this, I opened my eyes and I saw all this ice in front of me and I got this shock, like what the hell am I doing? And I, so I quickly, um, and then I felt the cold, right? And so I quickly closed my eyes again and, um, and focused back on, uh, on, onto that source of heat inside my stomach and you know visualizing the heat going all over uh into my body and you know and uh, and in the end it was so great you know we were all like um oming at one point you know oh because you have to because when i went in i i immediately that's what what i have to say i almost forgot that the first time i went in and you saw the footage i was just terrified really terrified but so this last time and unfortunately there's no footage of that but the last time i was in i was completely peaceful i was completely confident that i would be safe that my entire body would be safe so i went in and i started the deep breathing straight away so deep breath in and slow breathing out so at one point we all started oming and eyeing like oh and at one point we started uh counting down uh all of us and then we went to zero and i was like what was this 10 minutes i could have i could have done this longer not that i intend to but you know it, it was the feeling like those 10 minutes went by so fast however there's one big takeaway that i got from this 10 minute um ice submerging um and that is uh, and you know me, I'm always working with mantras and affirmations and the power of my mind. But what I hadn't realized is how difficult it actually is to keep a continuous focus. It's really easy to say an affirmation or to focus on an affirmation for 30 seconds. But if you have to focus on one thing, namely the heat in your stomach and visualizing it going through your body for 10 consecutive minutes. So for a prolonged time, that is actually much more of a challenge. And I realized through this that I wasn't really that good at keeping my focus for because my focus would drift away. And then I would realize I was in ice water and I would just start to shiver again and I would feel the cold. Um, so I started realize, or afterwards I realized how, how good it would be to exercise prolonged focus and what you, what you can actually achieve when you get prolonged focus, because, you know, everybody can focus for 30 seconds, but if you're able to focus on something for, for 10 minutes or for 30 minutes, you can achieve so much more than just that once or twice a day focusing for 30 seconds. So this is, uh, you know, the, one of the big takeaways, or one of the big things I'm, I'm going to, I'm taking away from this weekend. And yeah, I'm, I'm real. I feel really proud that I did this. I, you know, I had to win something in myself. I overcame my fear um and and felt confidence and i did i stuck with it to the end and 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 i want to say if i can do it anybody and i was there with with lots of other people everybody did it and you know everybody in in my group and we all got out and we were cheering and and the rest was uh was applauding us and 
I'm no special, right? So if I can do this, anybody can. All the love and trust and let go. Yeah. 